Yeah, so I was 32. Um, I didn't think anything was wrong with me. I thought I was perfectly healthy. I had a 12 month old little girl, Sadie. I was bringing her to the GP for her vaccinations when I noticed kind of over the last couple of weeks that a swelling under my right arm. I'd been doing a lot of exercise, a lot of training. I thought I'd pulled a muscle. So um, my GP sent me for an ultrasound and I knew straight away from the radiographer. She asked me, had I lost weight? I was like, yeah, I've lost quite a bit, but I've just had a baby and I've exercised. Are you tired? And I said, yeah, but I've just gone back to work. So there was all these questions and from that I was biopsied, um, mammogram, further biopsies on my breast. And then I was sent to see Professor Arnold Hill, who gave me the diagnosis that I had early stage breast cancer, but quite um, aggressive. It had entered into my lymph nodes under my arm. Um, so I then was referred on to oncology. And my first question to my oncologist wasn't, am I going to survive? It was, will I be able to have more children? I don't know what goes through your head when you think of these things. Yeah. Um, then they didn't give me the option of freezing eggs because they said it was too aggressive. So he told me that, no, I couldn't take, I'd have to take the chance yes. with the chemotherapy. So chemotherapy started a week later, had six months of chemotherapy, mastectomy, auxiliary node clearance, radiotherapy. You're listing it off like you must get stuff in the shop. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, if, you were to, if we were to stop, if we filmed what happened in, in your life that time, it's, again, enormous, it's, it's exhausting, it's yeah. trying, and, and you've got this whole existential worry about, as, as you were saying, Ron, about your extended family, whatever, about your own existence, yeah. but everyone else around you. And, and did, were you able to be, were you, did you get an answer to your question, your primary concern, could you have more children? No, so they told me that I was young, the chances of my fertility coming back after chemotherapy were high enough, but they couldn't guarantee it. Okay. Um, so I went through everything, and I kind of was on, as you said there, on a, on a roll. Yes. And it was when everything finished that everything hit me. Um, I got severely depressed. I suffered severely with anxiety. Yeah. Um, there was probably a period of over a year where I found it difficult to leave the house. That's, that, that to me is interesting because that doesn't get discussed a lot, I think, no. around cancer. You hear about chemotherapy, you hear hair loss, and the, the yeah. obvious things. But actually, that sense of, of anxiety, yeah. depression per perhaps... Um, is, is that's fairly new to me as somebody who doesn't know this, this world particularly well. And how did you keep the head above water in the middle of all of that? I struggled big time. Yeah. Um, the support of my family, my husband um, and my friends. Did you go to see someone professionally? Yeah, so I, I, the Irish Cancer Society um, did a lot of work with through the ARC um, Centre in Eccles Street. So they gave me counselling. Um, I did some of their programmes there. They had yoga, meditation, relaxation. Yeah. Um, but after, after, after your treatment is over, your medical team are kind of finished with you. Mm. And they did, they did say to me that it would be hard when you're finished, but I didn't realise how hard it would be. I was trying to look after my daughter. Luckily, I had really good childcare, um, really good support network. Mm -hmm. um, and does the word cancer still loom? Hugely. In what sense? Um, people expect you to be better. Your hair has grown back. Um, your hair has grown back, you look well. Yes. You're getting on with your normal life. You're yes. back to work. But there's a fear always. Of it of coming back. Is that right? The, 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 that you're all nodding your heads going, you might be in the clear. You hear that by people, yeah. friends or colleagues, and they're cleared, and then they go, that, it's, it's back like this awful bogeyman of a thing. Can I ask you what, uh, by coming out the other side as much as you possibly can, um, the children's situation, you, you have a little news for us tonight. Could you yeah, share that with so, us? Yeah, um, so in great news, I'm actually six months pregnant. Oh, so. that's right, yeah. <laughs>